Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and if you're new, welcome to Darkman Papo. Please consider subscribing, like my video, share with your friends and hit that comment section. Tell me what you think of any video I make. Welcome, let's go. So this morning, I just happened to finish watching the most outrageous movie of the year so far, which has felt like 70 weeks because January was very long. Talking about All My Friends Are Dead was a Netflix movie that was released this morning. I had the chance to catch it. So here are my honest thoughts. And uh, yeah, this is non-spoiler, so don't worry, I'm not going to wreck anything for you. Now, contrary to what the title suggests, All My Friends Are Dead is not a horror movie. Actually, it's very far from it. That's not to say that those elements do not exist. They do, but they rather tend to form a general uh, genre of um, dark humor. If, if I had to be very accurate. I mean, truth be told, there are things that happen in the movie that normally should scare you or should be like, okay, that's, that's not cool. And you end up laughing and you feel a little sadistic, but you know, it happens. I really liked how diverse the characters were. I mean, there was at least one person with a certain character trait. So the movie is predominantly set within a party. It's nothing like these 20 minute or 10 minute American movie party scenes we see. This is much more elaborate. It's like you're using that motif and you're pretty much just expanding on it. You keep going and going, pretty much finding ways to compartmentalize the whole thing, giving different things to happen at different times. It is, it's, it's a lovely mesh they were able to put together. Now there's a touch of blasphemy, but it's not enough to make a staunch Christian just condemn the movie outright. It's actually well done, shockingly, I mean, I can't believe I'm saying that about something blasphemous, but it's shockingly very funny. I'm one of those people that believes that a movie is actually an extension of the place from which it was made and from which it originated, especially if the elements are kept very indigenous. And I happen to learn a lot about Central European culture in a certain sense. Now, I know there's an argument that Europeans or white people don't necessarily have a culture, but you do see certain elements that make you go like, okay, I may have read this somewhere. That's a very interesting touch. One of these in particular is how they wear wedding rings on their right fingers as opposed to their left. It, it reflects who they are as a people and I love seeing stuff like that. Now this movie does so great at being engaging at every scene even though it tends to be slow at some points but you don't even feel it. It's just you just go with the flow. It has a very good uh, mesh between scenes and chemistry. Now there was this one question that was lingering in the back of my mind as I was watching this and I'm pretty sure a lot of people that watch this will have that same question and it's this how were you able to film this in the midst of a pandemic with so many people on a set it's just it's ridiculous i don't know how they did it of course they'll be taking safety precautions and whatnot but it does make you wonder like this thing is wild now in terms of the music score uh there's one particular track that is in the movie that's supposed to evoke a certain sense of horror and it sounds very much like a track from us the horror movie with Lupita Nyong'o and uh, Winston Duke. But overall, the, the song choices were really great. It definitely helped lighten the mood of what you were watching. And that's why I say that this movie was definitely not a horror movie. It's completely comedy, dark humor, I should say. But it was, it was great. I do believe it's a must watch. If you are one of those people that completely hates or is very scared of horror movies, I can tell you, you should watch this movie because it is very funny. You would definitely like it. I think it could serve as an entry point for people who are scared of uh, horror movies but may want to watch it down the road. This is a very good starting point. Uh, it helps you to appreciate the genre and the elements of it. But it's a definite must watch. I would recommend it to anyone who wants to see a movie in their spare time. You should definitely watch it. It's great. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have seen the movie, do leave your comments down below. If you haven't, do leave your comments down below. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to Dark Man Quackle. I will see you all in the next one. As always, be safe, take care, wear a mask. COVID is a real thing. Blackout.